Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, we're sending out a series of short videos to show us off some of our new products. This is a high quality uh, LM317 kit. Uh, it has an, uh, a rectifier circuit at the, in, at the input with uh, four diodes as a bridge rectifier. It's also got a fuse option. If you don't want the one amp fuse that comes with the kit, you can literally take a nice big thick piece of wire and uh, short it. But it does come with a fuse and fuse holders. Uh, as you can see, we got your your uh, potentiometer that varies the voltage, your heat sink, and your LM317. Uh, uh, we've got two terminal blocks, one for input, one for output. Here's the neat thing. Since it's a bridge rectifier, uh, the first two terminals for the, at this terminal block are actually labeled AC and AC. Now, the reason for this is AC, it doesn't matter, hot or neutral, it doesn't matter. Um, Either way, it works. But again, if even since we've got that bridge rectifier, actually we can put if we wanted to put DC, uh, DC which I'm doing right now, at our AC in. But uh, what 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 I'm doing is is you can actually put DC ground on either one of these AC pins and DC positive on e on the other one. It doesn't make a difference because the bridge, bridge rectifier circuit. I know that sounds a little bit confusing. I can't get into the theory right now. If um, but. Uh, because there's a bridge rectifier, you can use AC or DC at the AC inputs, and you get DC out. Um, anyway, so I've got uh, DC plus out and DC ground. So, and that's right now we've got 1.18 volts on our output. Now I've got 18 volts at DC at our inputs, so I can vary between about 1 and 15 volts using my LM317 circuit. Now, here's the one thing, is if you there's a few volts drop uh, along the diodes, because we're using DC, uh, even if we were using AC, we'd get a bit of a drop, but since we're using DC, we're getting a couple volts drop on our bridge rectifier. Uh, so, if you, you can actually bypass a bridge rectifier if you want to use DC at your input to save those few volts. So, if you want a, a range between 1.25 and roughly 18 volts, and if you have 18 volts at your input, then you can bypass this bridge rectifier. But in the case in the case where you've got say 18 volts DC or 12 volts DC, and you can you can you can work with a loss of two volts roughly because of the diodes, then you're in good shape. So AC at the input, DC at the input, uh, DC at the output. Uh, the LM317 uh, can uh, can source constantly up to about 1.5 amps when properly heat synced, which it is. Uh, the fuse that comes with the kit is one amp, so. Don't crank it unless you want to short the amp terminals or short the fuse terminals. It's a nice kit, easy to put together. The PCB is well labeled, and uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to uh, send them to us at engineeringshock.com. Thanks, guys.